Greetings and welcome to episode 10 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Spain campaign and this my friends I left it last time where we took Venice my friends the Venetians were an absolute thorn in our side but we've managed to remove them to eradicate them and now we stand my friends with most of Italy under Spanish control. It was a real battle to start with because the Venetians really did come hard here. They tried to aim for Rome, they tried to aim for Naples, but luckily we had the army in place. Specifically this army here is the absolute crowning achievement here in taking Venice. It has removed a really, really tricky opponent there for us, a real tricky enemy, dare I say. But but with that advantage we've taken here, we also have ourselves at maybe the slight disadvantage in terms of where we are located. And we have peace here with many of our neighbours here, but we are at war with Austria. And as you can see, Austria right on our doorstep here. Now, we are looking possibly for Vienna. Look at that, Vienna is absolutely ripe for the taking here. We have, luckily we have this absolutely one of the finest art, well, task force, shall I say, packed to the rafters with the elite Spanish forces. Not the most elite Spanish forces, but at the moment, the best we can get at this moment in 1709. This is some of the fine troops we can get. Look at that, we've got the uh, Spanish inventory at the marina. We've also got Regimento de Sevilla, two Regimentos de Sevilla. We've got another m Marine Grenadiers. Look at the absolute firepower of these gentlemen. is absolutely exemplary here. We've got more line infantry, but even then, wonderful here. And also expatriates as well have done their duty very, very well here. Now we've cemented our hold here on Venice. It has given us a strategic sort of oversight that we need here. We've also got an erstwhile sort of, not ally, what do I say, but we've got, we had a, we've got France here, sort of on our western sort of flank, as it were, guarding against anything. I'm not too sure what France's position is with Austria here. They're at war with... Ottomans, Netherlands, Prussia, and Great Britain. So they are quite, could be possibly quite bogged down here. As you can see, the Dutch have absolutely been rampant here in this sort of northern part of Europe here. They really have struck hard against the French here. And indeed, we've given them Brussels. Remember, we were on the brink of war with the Netherlands here, and we didn't really have the troops or the ships available to sort of really support that battle that was going to take place in Brussels. So we, we pretty much gave Brussels up for peace. Um, and trade. Let's have a quick look here. What we got here? Uh, Thirty. There it is. There. So we have their hostiles still with us. They don't really like us at all. Um, and also, many of you said, Mala, you need to try and get um, an alliance with Portugal to protect that flank, that western flank, as it were. And we're going to try and request an alliance here, as you have suggested here, my friends, because have Portugal as an ally would really do us very, very well here indeed. Oh, what a wonderful sight. An alliance with Portugal, my friends. What a wonderful, wonderful suggestion that is. And now we are free here, not to have to leave troops. or not. We can leave these troops in Madrid. We will never leave Madrid unprotected. That is something we cannot, nor should we do. But it has indeed given us that opportunity here to really, really strike now out against particularly the Austrians here. I'm not particularly happy here. We might have, I think what we will do is we'll send uh, some troops into here to push these gentlemen out. Um, I think we shall use the company of... Shot. No, we won't actually. we we'll lose the militia. We'll push these gentlemen out from here. Or can we? No, we can't. <coughs> we'll have to take this gentleman out from here. To there. Don't tell me we can't cross the Gibraltar Straits. We can't indeed. That's no good, is it? Then it looks like we're going to have to move one of the regiments from here, but ideally we don't really want to do that. So I think what we will do. Line infantry here. I think we'll send this line infantry down to here to push them. Oh, gentlemen, please. Thank you. To it. As well, gentlemen, we shall send another force into the intervention. We're trying to build up our navy as well as you could see. We're trying to get ourselves quite a formidable navy. As you can see, look at that. Look at that admiral there. What a wonderful admiral there. We shall move the gentleman back into the Morocco. And Morocco has come under our control quite extensively here. We've still got that religious unrest. So we might have to leave our Catholic missionary here for a while yet. As you can see, we're starting to push Catholicism quite 
up quite vigorously here at 40%, Islam is still at 60%, as soon as we can turn that tide there, religious tide there, it should be okay for us. 2,574 coming in here, that's probably from New Spain, look at that, we've got a huge amount of trade coming in off the off the Atlantic here from the Americas and also another wonderful suggestion of yours my friends was that we should start moving and maybe an expedition into the pirate territories in the Americas start building our presence more in the Americas that's what we're going to do we might not be able to do it now but we're going to start building the forces building the equipment we need to move into the Americas first of all we're going to solidify our hold over Venice here we are repairing and replenishing these forces here as you can see what a battle they're involved in and also we need a general as well because that general has died in the battle. We could use Felix Gallas. But then again, <coughs> he's pretty good at besieging actually. And besiege. There might be policy possibly to move this general into this army here to hold against any Austrian um, aggression because you can see he's a, a fantastic general for besieging, holding the walls holding the city here because no doubt Austria if they start to really gain a foothold here in Central Europe they will push against us but then again who are they at war with? Let's just have a look here. Austria oh my gosh they're at war with the Netherlands, Prussia and ourselves. They've got allies of Great Britain and Sweden so powerful allies Sweden really has expanded quite aggressively here look at that even St. Petersburg that is a and Moscow I do not believe it Sweden has taken Moscow. That is almost unheard of. I have never seen that before. Well, not for a long, long time that Sweden has advanced so aggressively. We're going to have to keep our eye on Sweden. How is our Sweden? Oh, they're unfriendly with us. We're going to have to build up our borders here because if they take, if they take Russia, they will be mind-bogglingly tough to beat. They really will be absolutely exemplary in what they have there. The power they will produce from the land they take here will be extraordinary it really will so we're gonna have to really solidify our hold here over, over Italy but also we've got to look expanding as well and upgrading all our territories but by damn we want to take care of the Barbary states as well if we can probably using Sardinia as a jump off point um, but we need to keep things in perspective here and let's have a look at our research and development we're getting seasoning here for our ships keeping the cost of our ships down as well but also the recruitment costs are going to go up so it's a bit of a balance in here we're going to keep it's going to cost us less to keep the ships on the seas but it's going to cost us more to actually build them um, we're also moving down into selective breeding but also we're moving into this division of labor which will give us um, plus one happiness but minus one happiness which is a little bit of a, a dichotomy here but also look at that plus 12 percent wealth generative industrial buildings fantastic for us there we do have quite a mount, lot of trade moving through here but we need to remove this here this effect on our trade as you can see three two five one here we've got to keep this well block uh, so this blockade remove this blockade it's going to hurt us quite significantly if we keep it there we've now got an alliance here with portugal portuguese are at war with whom they're at war with the marathans and the pirates, so we probably will come to their aid. They're protect they're a protector of Georgia. That is very strange. Very strange indeed. <clears throat> but that Swedish onslaught there is mind boggling here. But Mysore have actually pushed into Hyderabad. That is highly unusual here. Have they done that to keep Maratha Confederacy alive because they've only got Arcot here that is apart from that we've got the Mukhals here absolutely dominant here on the subcontinent Persia we do have trade with Persia not a massive amount of trade but still we are at peace with the Ottomans okay I think that's our lot there I think we shall end this turn here a lot else we can do I don't think here let's have a look at our trade that's blockaded from America because of course we, that's how it, that's where our American trade comes in is through into Cadiz Mo our monarch is absolutely horrific it really really is but look at that we've got these wonderful ministers that are absolutely keeping us afloat here alright let's end the term my friends let's see what happens here let's see who comes out of the woodwork Britain
Britain. We've given gave Britain Florida, which was don't doubt, don't do it, but don't do it, sir. Oh, will France engage Britain here? Indeed. Well then, France. Just want to keep our trade lines. Ooh. Oh, that's going to hurt us as well because we've cut a lot of trade with the British. And now the Austrians are starting to build up here. Will they go for Bavaria? Indeed. But, whoa! Look at that! Oh, they've been sent packing there by the French. So it looks like that war really has heated up there quite significantly there. Ottoman Empire. What will Russia do against Sweden? Or vice versa? That strategic struggle here really is vitally important to us because it might completely alter the entire balance here of the strategic you know, outlook of the entire, not just Europe, but the world. It really is that important. Because Russia is such a massive, massive nation. It really is one of the big, big sort of titans as it were, but to be taken over so aggressively by Sweden, that is something I've not seen for a long time. Um, we've got the Ottomans now, of course, still taking their time. But, um... We need to get ourselves some trade nodes as well, that would really help us. Now, what will Russia do? Sweden could be pushing even more aggressively in Marathans. New Spain, we have given quite a bit of technology to the Mukhan Empire. You jest, surely, sir. Why would you know what you are absolutely joking? Well, I'll be... What? We've got a battle immediately here. What? Where did this come from? What have they got? They've got horse, they've just got a lot of conscripts here, a lot of cavalry. But we can hold here, we've got grenadiers, we've got line infantry here, we've got plenty of line infantry, we've got one militia, two militia, and we've got fire locks, we've got luckily we've got grenadiers as well. I've got regiment of disorder as well, so hopefully here if we move up this forces into correct position here, we can defeat this army here, but it's got a lot of cavalry, we cannot let the cavalry into the city at all. That was absolutely out of the blue here. But we will crush the Genoans for doing this. They will pay the price for this, I can assure you. That came absolutely out of the blue there. We're going to have to remove the Genoans from this campaign. We shall not allow this aggression to go unanswered. Right, let's take this fight, my friends. That is absolutely unbelievable. They launched, they declared war and launched an invasion of Rome immediately without us even having a chance to bat an eyelid there about that. We have to move back that elite uh, uh, um, series of regiments we've got there as well, up in the north, guarding the mountain passes there in Venice. We cannot allow this to go unchallenged. Just as things were starting to settle down for us in Italy, think, just think we were having Italy sealed off, we will not allow this to go unpunished, believe me. Fortunately, we have a fort here we could defend from. Fortunately, we've got a fort here. Now, where are we facing? Because that will be p pivotal to where we need to defend here. So it's obviously going to be coming from this direction here. So we're going to make sure... Luckily, it's a small fort as well. It's not one of the extended forts. We have enough... I think we have enough forces here to guard pretty much every single wall here. We need to have a good mixture of troops mingled in together. They haven't got any cannon, which means they're going to have to come in with a full assault here. Which means they're going to have to get their hands dirty if they want this fort. Trust me when I say they will pay their price for this. So we're just going to get on the parade ground here so we've got everything marked out where we need to be. We 
get another alliance with with the nation we think that might give us the biggest amount of problems. Then we have Genoa coming absolutely out of the blue here. I might have suspected that some kind of ruse would have been used here by them, but right, let's get our forces uh, aligned properly here. I think we'll have the regiment of Disoria right in the middle here, absolutely guarding the middle here. Aspect, look at that, what a wonderful sight. Now, the corner might come under some vigorous attack. We have the 8th Regiment, I think, guarding this sort of corner. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Thank you. The militia here. And we shall also have Grenadiers here. Now, regiment of foot will be here. And the 11th regiment of foot here. Let's try and keep some, you know, close contact between the regiments so they can help each other. 17th regiment. I think we should have these gentlemen belong here. We have to make sure we're covered here because we don't want to be completely surprised here. We've got militia, militia. but by no means least the militia. The militia will stand their ground. We've got the fire lock citizens here. I think what we'll do is we'll use them as a counter charging unit. Or they can, f you know, get up if the walls are broken and breached then they will be used to counter charge wherever that is. Now we've got a nice and compact area here. Very nice and compact here. So it means we can keep and move and shuffle our forces where we need them to be. But this is going to be a highly aggressive fight here. Begin that fight, man. There it is. Look at the Genoans here. You're absolute fiends. Here. They've broken their forces into two separate, distinct forces here. So it's just as well we've done this. Good grief, that's a lot of forces there. Steady, General. Steady, gentlemen. Steady now. Oh, what a wonderful sight. Look at the infantry here. Steady, gentlemen. Unfortunately, we put these on the right walls here. We've got a lot of contact between them. Look at that mountain there. That would have been a wonderful place to put our cavalry. Here they come. And some wayward shots here, but still. Most of the concept of the barrel here to really try and get these forces together to try and. They've tried to take room off the bat here. Which means they're trying to take room here with just a minimum amount of forces and not engaging very much with us. But by damn, they'll pay for this, I can promise you. shooting. Get ready with those guns. Get ready with those arms. Steady out, gentlemen. 
Oh, look at that. A lot of cavalry here. If they break the walls here, the cavalry will pour in. And we will lose this fort. We have to maintain the technology here. Don't get in the way, gentlemen. Move away now. Move away. Oh, 
Ah, ich bin With an old fort, no damage to the walls. Definitely the security in this in room with hundred percent here. Spanish hands. If that cavalry gets through, we are in big trouble. Oh, what a shot!
General's bodyguard all the way over here. And he's allowed his men to die like that without even coming. Look how far away he is from the battle. Would you believe it? Well, well, well. A coward as well. Now we've cleared the battlefield here. I believe we can probably send some forces to deal with him. Do we send the firelock? The firelock arms to the I don't know. He would probably butcher them within seconds. The militia who have absolutely performed wonders here. Now, which regiment hasn't been touched? This regiment here, the 13th, and indeed the 17th. Both will be sent to deal with the general. Let's see if we can... Let's see what we can do. Draw him out here. Double time, gentlemen. Double time! Your Spanish infantry. Look at this coward here. Is he going to break? Is he going to break? He's broken. He has broken, sir. Halt. Halt on that orders. Halt those orders. Oh, what a wonderful sight there, hero. Of course, sir. We lost 115 men. They came with two, 4,000. They, they got 2,000 remaining. Look at that. We absolutely obliterated. We've killed 2,138 men. What? 500 kills here from my inventory alone. The regiment of Disoria did wonderfully well. Flintlock, even the armed citizens here killed 13 or 23 between them. <coughs> Grenadiers did find out, look at that, 500 kills there. <coughs> Excuse me, my friends. Damn it. Those Genoans absolutely will not have been allowed to get away with that. <laughs> It would appear that Genoa has now been blockaded, which suits us just right. Well, well, why is speak? What, 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 why? Why is that been broken? Yes, we've got that back. We're going to open up some trade here with the Marathans instead. Um, yes, excellent. 2094. Barbary states are hostile towards us, which is fine. Now we'll give Genoa a chance here for peace. Oh, not a problem. I think we can, we should indeed. That's a pretty powerful force, though, there. That's nothing to be sniffed at at all, is it? We've got 2400, 2094 here. That army upkeep is just going to be humongous. Our American trade line here has been hit pretty severely here by these Austrians. And that's why we're going to kick them out of here. We are going to repair that to start bringing in the additional trade. Now they've been hit here. France has been hit here. And Genoa has been hit here as well, which is not a bad sign to be honest with you. Now, we've got some choices here to make. We can either wait for these to be replenished and then hit Genoa. I think that's what we'll do here. We've given them a sound fashion here. I think the order of the day here is going to be just biding our time here. 
we're going to replenish these gentlemen here which is going to cost us negligible amount of money because of the losses we took were pretty insignificant to be honest with you as you can see here we really did come out of that very very well indeed that was down purely down to their casual disregard for their men excellent keeping that going there and i think we'll increase the troops we have here yeah i think we'll get oh, wait a minute wait a minute dragoons would be excellent how i think we'll have some dragoons here I don't think we need this army here, do we? We can chase these fiends down here. Mind you, we've still got a lot of cavalry, which we've got to be very, very wary of. Which we don't have. What we'll do is we'll just pull back. Still going to be probably another year yet before these gentlemen are ready to go. In which case, we'll put these gentlemen to Venice. Cut off that. Ooh, look at that. The Russians have struck back there. I think they've taken retaken Comey, is it? Yes, they've retaken Comey here. What a fight that is there. That's a humongous fight. Actually, I think what we will do is we'll increase our line infantry here in Rome. I can't get any more here. We are looking a little bit worse for wear in terms of our financial outlook here. Damn that. That there. We've now got Alessai with Portugal, which is good here. We do have quite the army here in Morocco. As you can see, we've got to keep Morocco under control here. We have to wait until the religious schism here has changed. We can't really allow the... What would happen if we moved out of here? Actually, that's not too bad at all, is it? Ideally, what we need to do is invade Genoa here using Morocco. We've got nothing there with Morocco. The Morocco would be absolutely open to taking here. We can't afford to lose Morocco. The Allies of France. That's a real pain. But they are at war with significant others. But if they come for us, what, what's their fleet like? Not a massive fleet here, but it's enough to give us good grief. Look at that there. That is an admiral and a half right there. That is a pretty formidable admiral right there. If we can deal with Genoa, I think what we will do is we'll move these forces. We can't go through here because that's French territory. And they've got plenty of cavalry there. If they go for Rome again, they will suffer a similar fate. I do, we need to move in here and try and take care of... Of course we've been blockaded there, we can't move through here, so this army has to disappear. But they've got too much cavalry here, that this cavalry here would absolutely butcher us. We're going to wait until this is fully replenished here, then we're going to move in. We've got some cannon. We've got two cavalry of our own, which we do need to bring back up to full strength, that's that will not do at all. But the rest of this army will probably be able to clear the Genoans and even indeed probably take the Genoan capital here as well. And we can probably move, use this army to defend Venice and then add to it. We've got to be careful though. Our finances are not that good. We've got trade with the Marathans, but they're not really doing very well at all, are they? That's been hit as well. For some reason that's been hit. Glad that Genoa has been hit anyway, at least. We've got some formidable forces here. That does need replenishing. 774 there for that cavalry. And we've also sent in a task force here to 
of the hold our holdings here in the Caribbean. <coughs> right, let's end the turn, my friends. Let's see what happens here. It's really important what goes on here. I think Genoa will probably strike again, or they'll move out and try and attack somewhere else, maybe down here in Naples. If they do that, we will we'll definitely engage them in. Let's take this, end this turn here. Britain. Ooh, good grief, that is a force and a half it. Okay, they want four field crop rotation, a land closure, and they want a payment of 390. No, we won't get any money for it, but we'll go for that there. Well, you reject it, you reject it. That's the way it goes. But we're not giving our money away. Oh, the Austrians are moving up here. Have they taken Bavaria? Marvellous. That Austrian fleet has got to be dealt with. It has to be dealt with. Not allow ourselves to be maneuvered around like this. Uh, the Ottomans again on the move. Wait, what? Is that Poland? Poland has gotten Moscow. The Swedes have given Poland Moscow. Oh, that is a real plot thickener right there. Wow. Russia, what will Russia do now? Sweden. Hmm. Look up, Empire. Steady to Oh look at that, they've come back again. And again we will defend here, sir. They're determined to take Rome. They really are determined to take Rome. But my friends, I'm gonna take this fight next episode. I do apologize for the shortness of this um of this episode, but I am um I've got quite a bit to do tonight, um so Friday night, so I do apologize for that my friends, but we, this is the fight we're going to take next episode right away, we're going to take this fight. Those of you thinking we've, we're, we're Great Britain campaign is going to be coming after Spain, I've had quite a lot of requests for the Spanish campaign, so I thought I'd bring the Spanish campaign, just, just you know, jump it in front of the uh, British campaign, but the British campaign will be coming after this, um, after the Spanish campaign, but I did get a, a lot of requests for the Spanish campaign first, so that's why you're seeing it first my friends but this is the fight we're going to take, we're going to take the second battle here of Rome, they really do want to try and take Rome off us but they will not succeed and once we destroy this force here then we are going to move on to Genoa proper because then we can really, we can outflank them, we can move down to the south here and then sort of move back into the sort of northwestern part here up into Genoa, take care of Genoa, remove it and then that also brings another region of Italy under our control, Bar Milan that is the one region we will control. Then we will control almost all of Italy. There's Turin as well. We will control almost all of Italy and that will be absolutely fantastic under Spanish control and what a wonderful sight that would be. But my friends, this is going to be the fight for next episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please comment, like and subscribe. Please keep your comments coming down below. My friends have been absolutely fantastic. They really do help 
you know really forge and mold the campaigns you all your comments are absolutely you know fantastically well received they really really are and I thank you for all your great support it's been absolutely wonderful with all my campaigns thus far um, I am working on a on a sort of a new video um, where you will decide the campaign that's coming up um, but it's just taking me a bit of time to get everything together but also time to record it as well so please my friends your comments will always be welcome whatever you're doing please be safe my friends hope you're having a great weekend coming up but until next time my friends bye for now <laughs>